Hi everyone, this is Jaden Dunn with Kiss My Glass Antiques and today, it's really bright outside, <laughs> today we are at Antique Treasures in Farmington, Missouri and we're looking for antique or vintage glassware to resell or for my collection. So let's get inside and see what we can find. Okay guys, so starting right here, there is this large genie bottle, which is what I'm touching right now. But unfortunately, the stopper in the bottle didn't match. Um, this is amber and empoli. Also, the stopper was damaged, so this is an empoli genie bottle with a hobnail topper, and the bottom is the wax strip bottle. So like I said, the stopper and the bottle don't match, but it's still pretty cool to see. I'm on the look for a amber wave topper for the bottle I have really pretty this purple one on the left here is also in pulley this is what one would consider a circus top or circus tent which is labeled that um candy jar or compote this is an amethyst i think they have 15 dollars on it which is really good uh this bottle right here is also in pulley there's one over there too which i'm pointing to the blue uh these are considered corset genie bottles this one clearly does not have the topper but the blue one over there does so we're gonna walk over here and look at it i actually really like the corset ones because this has the stopper they're wanting more which is 65 dollars i don't believe that's too bad i believe that's really close to retail actually but i do prefer the blue and i do like the corset and um, this is what the stopper looks like it's just a little ribbed stopper there are there are other and pulley genie bottles that have a similar stopper to this as well but unfortunately stoppers sell for more than the bottle themselves so you can get quite a bit of money out of just the stoppers this of course is moon and stars this is a moon and stars green banana boat and over here is a little trinket dish or serving platter again ellie smith moon and stars and they are green just regular green always gotta get the moon and stars down here we have an ellie smith ribbed compo and luke's feet <laughs> you can see the ribbing on the bottom right here and again i said this is smith this is a smith compo we've seen a few of these mostly in bittersweet um i don't know if i got the tag or not i probably wouldn't pay more than 30 dollars for this which is retail um under 30 dollars i'd say is a pretty good deal Yep, okay, we do find the tag. I think it says $40 on it. I mean, to each their own, and I would always check eBay before purchasing anyway to make sure that we are not being ripped off. Over here, we have another Ellie Smith ribbed um, candy dish, similar to the last one, but the last one was more of a handkerchief style, and this is more of a wide style. Now, I wanted to show you guys this mark right here. You might be looking at it and thinking that it is a scratch, but this is actually called a straw mark and it is from the making process where when they put it in the mold so the mold caused that that is not a crack actually wanted to share that with you guys so you would know for future reference now over here they did have these fenton amber opalescent fairy light and a little crimped bowl these crimped bowls are actually going for um like their retail price is increasing so they're going for a lot more recently and I really liked this slag glass head on nest here and the purple marbled look. And of course, so this whole thing was like basically Fenton. Um, look at this Fenton frog though. I thought he was cute. You don't see the frogs quite as often as the other ones. But here were some Fenton animals. And, ba and baskets. And then on the next shelf there was another compote pitcher I believe and some shoes. I don't believe that this elephant was sent in but i could be wrong and then right here we have some hull i believe there was a few pieces of hull you can always check the bottom to determine if it's hull or roseville as they will both be signed on the bottom i know roseville did not put out a lot of pieces that did not have the roseville stamp on the bottom this is hull as well I'm not sure about Hull, though. I'm not sure how s much of a stickler they were for that. Hull is always quite pricey. So if you find it for under $30 and you were a reseller, I would say pick it up. Now then, this right here is, I believe, is a Blendo set. I 
do think there was another maker who made similar ones, but I believe this is Blendo, and I've never seen them, though, with this almost printed floral design, but I thought they were really pretty, and they also, their gold etching is intact, which is very awesome. I believe the vendor was actually standing there watching me film this, and they weren't sure what I was doing, so <laughs> I was trying to make everything the same. Now this right here, I do believe is Roseville, and it was priced quite high. The vendor said that that is an eBay price, but I cannot tell you because I did not look it up. But it was very pretty, and it was textured. This is 275 Firm, Roseville Magnolia. So this is just a decorative picture. Um, it says 1943 on the tag, so that's pretty interesting. This is me showing you the Roseville stamp that I was talking about just a second ago. It was really pretty. I loved the blue, the dark blue. Normally I would see him more in like a little green tone, but this one was blue. Moving on, this pink Jack in the Pulpit back here is Fenton. Um, I did like the swirling effect that it had to it, and I thought it was pretty. Um, it is not stamped Fenton on the bottom, but the tag does say Fenton. Fenton pink and white swirl Jack in the Pulpit vase is what it says. And they have it for $120, which I think is what that said, which is quite steep. Yes, $120 um, for one Jack in the Pulpit vase, especially because there's not a whole lot of fancy to it. But I'm unsure if pink is a rare color for Fenton. Now over here we had a few different colors and styles of the Huggy vases, or Huggy vases, Huggy salt and pepper shakers. Um, I look for these all over the place and these are really popular, but these were priced at $30, so we left them behind. Um, this colorway you're looking at right now is the most common, and then I believe there was a white and purple over there, and maybe a white and blue. Um, but keep on the lookout for these at a reasonable price if you would like to make a little money on them because they are quite popular. Now right here is actually something I had not seen before. This is actually Blanco glass. And we've seen a couple pieces of Blanco, I believe, on here before. But Blanco is very prestigious and very sought after, very, very, very collectible, and goes for quite a lot of money. This is the tangerine color, I do believe. And it is really cool to see the Blanco sticker. I had not seen the sticker. They have this setting for $65, which we did look on eBay to see if that was um, a lower end price, but no, this is the retail price. It says follow them at South Pine Vintage on Facebook and Instagram, so if you guys are interested, go check them out. Um, their booth was actually pretty full of cool stuff. These canisters were at $85 for the set of four. I thought that was actually a pretty good price considering the condition. Um, the big one has a couple condition issues, but other than that, they are good. And everything was 40% off, which was even better. Right over here, I thought these glasses were beautiful. And they have these pretty butterflies on them. But they were at $70 for the set, which for a set of eight and them being new in box um, isn't too bad. But not in our budget, so we did leave them behind. Okay, now these are actually ceramic plates, but I thought they were super cool, and I'm not sure if they're vintage or not. I would say they are, but this set has dinosaurs and party hats on them, and they had the plates, and they had bowls, and teacups, and mugs. But just look how awesome these are. They're having a birthday party. Now, I read the tag. I should show it here in a second. But the tag did say that they were a rare set, and they had them priced at $200 for the whole set, which honestly I thought was pretty good, and I really, really liked them because I love dinosaurs. Um, but we did leave them behind, unfortunately. It says, Mikasa, Dino, and Friends, $200 rare. So, those are really cool. And then up above, which we're going to look at right now... It was the set, I thought I thought this might be the price tag for it, but this is a set uh, from the same maker, but it is like Zoo Friends, and I think the lion was wearing a party hat, so maybe they're having a little party, but this was another set. They had the teacups, the plates, and I believe the bowls too, 
We're going to take a look at the bowl now. The little leopard and the birds and the zebra. But I just thought both sets of these were pretty interesting and I had never seen them before. So we took a look at them. It says Jungle Friends. 20 pieces, $200. So I cannot say if that was a good price or not, but it was cool. Here we are looking at some really cool stained glass or Tiffany glass if you want. Um, lamps. These two are parrots for $300. Which these are really old probably, so. And a peacock for two seventy. Now they did have the parrots plugged in and they were really pretty. The peacock was not plugged in, so I couldn't show you guys, but they're pretty awesome lamps. And then in just a second, there's gonna be a whole bunch more lamps. I didn't really get like a huge like a really close shot of most of them, but there were some really cool ones. This was like a whole collection of them. So that was awesome to see. There's also some other lamps like Fenton and such, but we thought that was cool. This is just a little pink depression glass flower frog or flower light vase, if you would like. Hawking, so anchor hawking is what the tag says. It was actually really big. Um, I hadn't seen one like that before, so we showed it to you. Now, this here is actually a Viking epic column or epic panel. Uh, compo in blue. There was someone behind me, so I was trying not to get them on the camera. But yeah, in blue neek. Um, I don't know if we look at the tag, but yes, this is a Viking style. I believe we have probably seen one of the vases on the channel before, uh, with the same base. It says 50 firm. I believe that was probably a good deal on that, considering how big it was. And blue neek is popular. Here we have a Empoli wine swirler glass, which is just shaped like a giant wine glass, but it does have the optic on it, and which is just the design, and it is super pretty. I wanted to get it in the light for you guys, see how it like is optic looking, so that was pretty cool. And the reds, reds are harder to find in Empoli, like in glass from Empoli, which again, Empoli is just a region in Italy. Here we have some pristine mercury glass Christmas tree toppers, and I have never seen them in these colors. There is a blue, and the one in the back is more of an orange and not really gold. So we got those on camera. And then these, this is actually a really good price, so if you guys are interested in these and you're near Farmington, Missouri, go get them. They were $85 for the whole set of four Merry Mushroom canisters. Honestly, we should probably go back. And... I think they were on sale that weekend after we had already been there too, which was really cool. So these are, again, Merry Mushroom canisters, and they are very sought after, especially right now. They're getting even hotter. This was a really cool old scale with crystals on it, and I think I zoom in on the tag so you guys can pause and read it, and it had a lot of really cool details on it. So yeah, you guys should pause it right here and take a look. It says it has a total of 114 crystals on it, which was really cool. And then right here was this little decanter, and I have no idea who makes it or anything like that. It is pretty old, but it has this really cool little swan on top, or goose if you want, but I think it was more intended to be a swan. Um, and there's like hand painted on it. It says $72, which I thought was a really good deal because it's just old and I hadn't really seen it before. And then right and then right here we have something we hadn't seen before on the channel and it is Moon and Stars ceramic compote by McCoy. Um there's a few different colors I know of these. This is the more of an amber colorway for it, but yes, this is ceramic, but it is also Moon and Stars. <laughs> Uh, and these don't really have much of a retail value. This one was only $7, and that was pushing it on the retail value. So, if you guys do like it, though, go online. I'm sure there's some on eBay, and buy them all because they're very inexpensive. So, to add to your collection. Alright, right here there is a Blue Wave Empoli Genie Bottle. And I was talking about this at the beginning um, when we were looking at that amber one. And this is the wave pattern. I have an amber one of these in the wave pattern. Um, but I don't have a stopper for it, just like this blue one. We did end up leaving the blue one behind. Um, blue is a more hard to find color in the Empoli style. 
Um, not like super rare, but harder to find, I would say. Uh, but since this didn't have a stopper, we just left it behind. And right here, that you can see the amber one right there is also in Poli Genie Bottle, and that is in the wax strip style, and it does have the matching topper. But at $90, we did end up leaving it behind. Uh, that wasn't a bad price for it, but it wasn't as much, we wouldn't be making as much money on it as we would hope. Okay guys, so that was uh, Antique Treasures in Farmington, Missouri, and we came out with some salt and pepper shakers that I didn't get on camera. And we got an optic light, which we're going to resell on eBay. And we got a Detective Snoopy. So uh, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you guys. Bye.